the process occurs during voluntary responses like raising your hand to answer a question or crossing a road on foot but reflex responses do not involve the processing of signals by the brain the spinal cord bypasses the path of reflex reactions in the reflex response of drawing out the leg from a sharp object the receptor cells in the skin receive the stimulus send the impulses or signals through the sensory nerve the sensory nerve carries the signals to the spinal cord spinal cord intermediate cells relay the signals directly through the motor nerve motor nerve carries the signals to the effectors the muscles in your leg the leg muscles will draw out your foot from the sharp object hence we can define the reflex arc as the shortest path of involuntary responses controlled by the spinal cord reflex responses occur without our consciousness and thinking the components of the reflex arc are receptors specialized cells in the sensory organs those receive stimulus sensory nerve that carries the signals from the receptors to the spinal cord spinal cord relay the signals to the motor nerve motor nerve that controls the effector by bringing signals to the effectors effectors finally are the muscles that show the appropriate response can you explain the reflex arc in this situation touching the hot object now you can define the reflexes and reflex arc differentiate voluntary and involuntary responses and explain the components of the reflex arc thank you